Today you are going to be doing a 100 color challenge and uh, we're doing this challenge so that you get used to using acrylic paints. Acrylics are different than anything we've used in the art room. Uh, they are permanent so if they get on your clothes they will not come out and we don't want to get them on our tables. We want to keep them on the paper. Um, and when we're using them and mixing with them today, I'll, I'll teach you some other tips and tricks for using acrylics. Acrylics are many artists use to paint, and it's what you're going to be using when you um, paint on your canvases in this next project. But we really want you to mix and make your own colors. So you're only getting the primaries, which I'll show you right here yellow, red, and blue. You're going to get white, so you can make tints. Anytime you add white to a color, it's a tint. And you're going to get black so that you can make shades. So anytime you add black to a color, you're making a shade. And you notice you're not getting a lot of paint. This is what you're going to get. Um, because you don't need a lot. Each different box is going to be a different color that you make. So I really want you to conserve your paint, only use what you need. You're going to need a water cup to wash your brush in between colors. You're also going to need a paper towel. Acrylics need a drier brush. You don't want your brush to be really wet um, like when you're using watercolors. And then your brush uh, that you're going to use today is going to be pretty small because I'm just painting in these little boxes. So, in your basics of color theory, if you mix blue and red, you get purple, red and yellow make orange, and yellow and blue make green. So you can start with those secondary colors. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is red can be overpowering. So when you mix it with a lighter color, you don't want as much red. So. I'm going to use my newspaper as my palette in my mixing um, station. Again, I'm going to take just a tiny bit, you can see, just a little bit of yellow. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to gently swirl it on the bottom. I wipe it on the edge to get water off. And then I kind of dry it on my paper towel. And then I'm going to touch into the red. Um, and I'm going to mix. That can be my first square. And do your best to paint it in. Um, I don't, we don't expect these to be perfect. But notice I didn't use a lot of paint. Now I've already mixed this color. To change it, I can add a little bit of white. I could add a titch of blue into that. So I'm going to clean my brush again, wipe it on the lip, um, dry it on this paper towel. Let's add some white. When I add white, it lightens up. There's my next color. Oh, that's a beautiful color, just whiter. I'm going to squeeze off my extra. Um, dry. What do you think would happen if I add a little blue to this? I don't know. Let's let's find out. I'm just gonna mix on part of it. I like that. I'm gonna paint. Again, I could add more white to this blue and make a new color. I could put more red in there. I can put more yellow. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you add black to a color. So I just made orange. Let's make a green. So I'm going to pick up a yellow. I'm going to start a new palette right here. Again, I'm washing in between drying in between. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of blue and I'm going to mix. Okay, before I add black, I want to I want to paint this on. Okay. 
It's a beautiful green. Our water cups are going to get pretty dirty today. That's okay. It will still keep cleaning your brush if you scrub on the bottom. Wipe. Okay, now, again, black is like red. It's overpowering. I don't need a lot to change any of these colors. Barely. I don't know if you can see that. I barely dipped in. I'm not going to mix the whole thing. I want to save part of this because I think I'm going to add white to part of it. So I'm just going to mix that black with a little bit over here. And the black just, it, it darkens it. it. It makes a shade. So when I paint it next to here, they look similar, but they're different. They're just a little bit different. Oh, I even really like this color palette, palette I'm making. So I'm going to go ahead. This is really fun for me because it's like an experiment. Um, I want you to do your best to fill in a hundred boxes today. We're going to see how far we get. Um, if you're working the whole time, I know you're going to get pretty far. See what colors you can create. Um, cause you can use these colors in your next, um, in the big painting project.